What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Shane. This is The Shane Show. All right guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a couple of hidden things with uh, the GTR. This is my 2015 Nissan GTR. I got it back in January of this year, 2018. Um, and so I want to share with you guys a couple of things that you may not know about the car. So the first thing about this is the key fob. Now, what's special about the key fob? Well, key fob actually has a tab right here on the back. And what you can do with this is you can push this open and it'll actually release a key back here. Now, why is this important? So as you can see, push the tab, release the key. So now the key comes out and then I have the actual fob. Now this fob is battery charged and this can die, right? Because it's on a battery. So um, having this key is important to be able to get in and out in case this key fob dies. Because now that the key is out, there is a hidden keyhole right there. So something else this car has is underneath the passenger side floor mat, there's a compartment down here. And in that compartment is, if your GTR has the option, would be a floor jack, as you can see right here. There's also a tow hook for the front. Um, and then it has, you know, your wrench. And then also the floor jack would be in here if your GTR had that option. Now it was optional. Um, something else that's crazy in here, so I'd mentioned that that key fob, um, right? Hidden in here in the key fob. This is actually used to get into the trunk. So you can use this to, to get in. So I just hit that, there we go. So now that the trunk is popped, crazy, right? So if you ever can't get in and you have your key, right here is where that, you know, hidden key is for the trunk. So again, you know, you have your key for your trunk, key which is inside your fob, you also have the floor jack, which is an option. You have your tow hook, and then you have your lug nut wrench. All this is under the passenger side compartment, which is absolutely crazy. It's pretty cool to be, you know, have something like that that's different. All right, so we have the key down here for the trunk, which pops the trunk. You have your floor jack and all that stuff under there. Also with the key fob, there is a charger. Um, for it inside the car which is pretty cool so let's go around over here as you can see right here this is where the key fob will be entered so once once this key fob right here starts to go dead um, this right here will start flashing yellow and it'll tell you on your dash and you, you just insert it like that and now you know it's charging which is pretty cool also, you don't even have to have the key on you, which I know a lot of cars have this now, but you can just hold this right here, and this will lock or unlock the vehicle. If you So, door's closed, locked, unlocked. Also, in here is a spot for a key for your vehicle, right here. So, on the driver's side, passenger side doesn't have it. As you can see, it's just a blocked off hole however on the driver's side over here there is a little key or a, a screw right there and underneath that is another way to get in with just your key in case that you uh, the key fob dies for whatever reason you can't get in you just unpop the key out of here and then you insert the key in there and you can get into the car all right guys so those are a couple features of the car i hope that you enjoyed them i hope there was some things in there that you didn't know that you learned uh, i think it's real cool to have all that stuff underneath the passenger side floorboard and then the different features with the key fob as well so just like that this video is over hope you guys enjoyed it check out the video over here video over here just like that shane shows out peace